Charis TV. I have the grace. You can't stop me. Today, I just want to reason with you with scriptures. Kono kenya kore rebole le kai mangwalo. I was looking at the scripture of John 14. Ne kile bela le mangwalo le la Johanna 14. Verse 12. Verse 12. That scripture is very very important. Verse la ibu tokwa tokwa tokwa. If we can read the scripture. It's very, very important, but it's not what I want to talk about, but I want you to analyze that verse. Let me read it for you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than this shall he do, because I go unto the Father. Amen. Can you see that verse? Can you just read that with Amplified Bible? It's not kitchen. It's German. Okay, let me read it again. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that <coughs> believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do, because I go unto the Father. Amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Most of the time, we don't understand why Jesus did what he did. One time, the Bible says he was anointed. Oh, he manifested to destroy the works of Satan. And most of the time we want to do what he did, but we don't look at his life. You could not separate Jesus with his father. You know, to all the prophets to all people who have been sent, it was only Jesus who he said, father. He spoke God as his father to show that their relationship was so strong. The relationship of a father and a son is built up in principles. You cannot say you have a father and you don't behave in a certain way. Jesus came and did things that no one ever did. He even walk on the water. Sometimes he will disappear. When they are looking at him, you just disappear. Disappear and After resurrection, you could just enter through. When the doors are locked, he even rose from the dead. So Jesus did a lot. He said, so Jesus did do above what he did. I found why we cannot do that. I was learning the life of Jesus on the cross. I want to show you some verses before I tell you 
what I want to talk about. If you read in Luke 23, 34, 34, Jesus spoke. And he was, after he was nailed to the cross, he said, he called God Father. He said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. These are the people that took Hamas and they nailed him. The same Jesus said, they don't know what they are doing. Luke 23, 43 when the pains of nails and also the heaviness of his body uh, on the cross was bringing shame and pains. He could still win a soul. He told the man who was a robber and said, Today, you shall be with me in paradise. He had pains, but he, he could still win a soul. He, he was on the cross, but he never worried or complained. In John 19, 26 to 27, he looked at his mother that was agonized by the situation. And he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Behold your son. And he said to the son, Son, behold your mother. This is the person that was supposed to be crying. And bring some promises. He was supposed to be telling his mother and say, because he was 33 years. Mama, I have not done anything wrong. I don't know why they are killing Mama, me. Today, I want to say, do not worry. Right Jesus never worry. That Jesus is why. He will love to maintain his relationship with his father. He will make sure that his relationship is so strong even when he's in pain. Our Lord Jesus will not lose focus. That's why he could still win a soul. That's why he could still win a soul. In Matthew 27:46, Matthew 27:46, Jesus spoke when all the sins came to him. My God, why have thou forsaken me? Because he knew that it's only sin that separated him with God. If you read there, the Bible says he cried. He cried for his relationship only. He had opportunity to prove that his father is existing, but he could not pray against it. His prayer was, I want to maintain my relationship with God. In John 1928, for Jesus, when he realized that everything is about to be finished. He never said, I feel pains. He didn't say, oh my God, I'm about to die now. Can you just read that verse? He says, 28, he said, I thirst. 
Or can you just believe something like that? Somebody is in pains. And you say, I'm thirsty. Jesus was contrary to what we, we are today. That is why he was different. He could do what we could not do. Jesus was contrary to what we are today. That is why he was different. He could do what we could Jesus was so different. Jesus said, we do what he has done, but how can we do without having the same character? Bible already had this election. We talk on our own. We did it. Are now resting on me. Why are you so unlike her? Today, if you can be feeling pain now, the calls will be running to the village. The call of the Tabadi Kiti Madia High. Others will be saying, "Come back home." You know we are high. You don't want to die there. You want to die there. You want to die there. You want to die there. We are high. We'll make sure that we turn around with you. There's a Sangoma close to us here. She has helped our sister. Come back. In our pains, there are many voices. Jesus said, I'm thirst. They took a sponge. And put it in a vinegar. And then they put it to his mouth to press it. The moment when he tested it, he said, It is finished. He didn't say, ah, You gave me vinegar. Because you, when you taste piri piri, you say what? Piri piri. When I would taste piri piri. Jesus said, it is finished. He quotes scriptures. That instead of them giving water, they give me vinegar. As they are doing that, it is finished. If you read John 1930, he said, after he has received that, he said, it is finished. To be honest, we are so far different to produce the same results will be very difficult. We are so much contrary to what we think of what we are expected by God himself. We, 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 we even forget that we are serving God sometimes. The last thing that is found in Luke 23, He never worried. After he said it is finished, it's only the book of Luke that he quoted this Father, into thy hands. I put my spirit. If it was you and me, we would say, I know you God. The people who have done this, from today they will never sleep. They must die. Jesus said, Okay, it is finished. Later he said, Unto thy hands I put my spirit. You know, you know, Spedi is not saying it right. Jesus didn't say, He didn't say, Unto thy hands I put my spirit. Yeah, not in the Put. In other words, Jesus positioned his soul unto the hands of God. He didn't just find himself in the, in the hands of God. He, he, positioned. he knew that that's what he, he knew that he has done his job in his faith. And as he was promised, promised God, he positioned. You know, listen to this. He who positioned himself here cannot position himself to God. We position ourselves in, God, in the church. 
but we just want to nela. Mara re no nyoko niela. Our souls to his eyes. Ni moya ya re na matsong a hae. But if you position yourself in the hands of God, you must make sure you finish His way. So Jesus knew that the job is finished. That's why he said, it is finished. That's why Jesus no no complain. No complain. No Today, everything worries us. If you go out without a jacket and you start to be cold, how can you go out without a jacket? Hey, we are talking about the weather. The weather of these days. You were supposed to be enjoying it. No, so enjoy our EP. Naga buska usa uwe. You must enjoy it. So enjoy EP. You begin to say this weather of now. Or hey, we are talking about weather. I'm a chachia. If you get money, how to teach a letter? The excitement is of one day. The whole month you'll be complaining about your children. And you expect the same results that Jesus, when you come in, puts your son on the line. Jesus produce. Yeah, it's a little you. If you read Mark four, our Bible begins in Mark chapter four, from verse eighteen to nineteen. From eighteen to nineteen, when Jesus was teaching. About worries. Aruta kau bilaela. He showed that worries affect the word. Oila bonchar ubilela o affect alinchi. And make the word useless. Ala dira luri alinchi le li tokele muhola. In other words, the moment you start to worry, you are not a Christian. Auto mobilela kudu 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 puluso ya chava. Can you tell me about the moment? Kana kuyo. You start to worry. You are not a Christian. Look what, look what Jesus said. Mark 44. Maybe if we read from 18. It says, and others are they that are sown among the thorns. These are they that have heard the word and the curse of the world and deceitfulness of riches and the last of other things entering choke the word and it becometh unfruitful La Thomas toka di enyo. You know the moment you worry. Kato mau Thomas na kuto Thomas bilaela. You are not a Christian. Awa au salio ya pulushi chwing. The moment you worry. Kato Thomas bilaela. You are hate. Aye, umu hate. Because if you read here, you can see. Kaura au lamo ukono bona linchile mugu wena. I mean, you make the worst of it, you receive it. Oh, the ajedi picha ufitele cha wale amrela. It enters you. Let's say na mwe na. Don't worry. Wow, we laela. Make sure that the word is there, but it's useless. Ba ole wana orlinchili ona mara. Let's say na mukola. You are not different with the word in here, the word. Awa fa panale mutoa sa zanga kwa linchi. Because what is the use of hearing the word? And the word does not do anything. That is why I decided to stop worrying. That is why Nagilega decided to stop worrying. Some people think I worry too much. No, I don't even worry. I'm enjoying my life. I'm just enjoying my life. Me, I'm enjoying my life. Because you know, Satan is trying to make the word in me useless. The deceitful, foolish. The deceitful, foolish. The deceitful, foolish. That comes and choke the way. Oh, what time we are coming to? The lust, the hunger, the desires, the tumo. Things that you are trying to get that you will never get in life. Because whatever you are trying to get, you will never get. Because whatever you are trying to get, you will never get. Because whatever you are trying to get, you will never get. Because whatever you are trying to get, you will never get. Because whatever you are trying to get, you will never get. Because whatever you are trying to get, you will never get. Because whatever you are trying to get, you will never get. Because whatever you are trying to get, you will never get. Because whatever you are trying to get, you will never get. The worries will choke the word that they're supposed to be. What you are trying to get, and you find it in your heart. So you must make sure that the word is there. 
So we are in a church today. How many words we heard? So we are in a church today. How many words we heard? So we are in a church today. How many words we heard? The best which is ourselves. We are the best which is ourselves. To all the witches you know. Of your neighbors. Is yourself. The moment you take the word to yourself. You will be the best which is ourselves. 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 And others are they that are sown among the thorns. These are they who have heard the word. They heard the word. They are quoting scriptures. Yeah. And the Bible says, Bible here. And the curse of this world. Can you speak that in Pedi again? And I repeat, the Kanyo Ochali Fasile. Speak that again in Pedi. The Kanyo Ochali Fasile. Speak again in Pedi. The Kanyo Ochali Fasile. Can you speak again in Pedi? The Kanyo Ochali Fasile. The last time, speak that in Pedi. The Kanyo Ochali Fasile. Tell your neighbor the same thing. These are the curse. Kidding, torture, and yakari, the Kanyo Ang. The curse. When you wake up, you just say, oh, I want to find myself in your body. Why I'm not getting it? And I did the auditory. Complaining, worry, oh, what to be like? From there, the Bible become useless. What to a more Bible? I talk a more whole. This shows that. We Christians, we must have a certain character which very soon I will teach you about. That will really help us to be Christians. Amen. If we read 1 Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 10 to 11, it is written that people complained of mama Worried. And the Bible says it is written for us. Admonish us so that we must not do the same. And the Bible says they were destroyed by the destroyer. Listen to this. It means worries invite the destroyer. Tell me worries. The pilaelo invite the destroyer. The mema mufedi ishi. Can you tell anybody again? Tell you, tell you, tell anybody again. Bocha makelo na bedi. So, can you see? Yano le abona. The Bible says Satan comes to do what? Satan utaudi yang. To steal. Ochoa. To kill. Obaya. Lo fedi ishi. So worries. Makes you to call Satan. Did you know which is Satan? Now you can understand that what is, you know, it's a door open for Satan. You know, the abono rubilai la kile ba tila ubolelo wa Satan. Worry. Rubilai. Some of you are just oh God, but why the situation is not changing? So after your situation change, what do you want to do? Kamra oro si mo si change change he o tata udiang. Do you know that sometimes God will live in the dark for you to strengthen your relationship with Him? When you see some things not working your way, don't ever think, don't ever think Satan is involved. No. You are supposed to be close to your God. So close you pray more. Pray more. You seek more. And if you do that, you will never lose the work. But look at this verse, Philippians 2, 40 to 50. The Bible says when you do things without worrying, you are proving to be his sons. When you just do things without worry, you are proving to be what? You are a son. Philippians 2, 14 to 15. Philippians chapter 2, 14 to 15. It says, 
Do all things without complaining and disputing, that you may become blameless and harmless, children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shine as light in the world. When God wants to lift you, he allow some certain situations and certain people to affect you. They they affect you. Away. If God wants to lift you, he allows certain people certain situations. Because remember, out of a situation you are trained to be uplifted. If you were not going through certain things, you were not supposed to be knowing some things. So sometimes God will allow you to go through some challenges so that when you manage abundance, everybody ah, will understand you. Some of you, when I look at you, you say, ah, why well, I'm born in a family of poverty? And you're always worried. You want to change even your surname. You say, maybe it's the same name or the name that I've been given when I am born. Some of you, the moment when you found that where you are born, uh, your father is somewhere. You begin to search for him. Thinking, thinking that if you find him, therefore you make relationship with him, therefore everything will go well. The situation you are going through, of knowing that he is not there, or things are not there. It's for you to be stronger. Because God might be preparing you for the best. Days. It is not something to make you to feel down. As in to say, why, me? why all this? It must happen to who? Look here. The bigger the challenge, the best the results. But if you start to worry, why are you going through this? 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 The real people will say, I want to have shape. Baba round over a hanin, like it's not shape, you know, while it's shape. People are worried about everything. But when I'm in the car, you check, I'm not going to fail. The black ones say, No, if I take maybe some color. Baba, I'm so bad. I'm not very fond of Tom Wayne. Can not tell us if I'm going to change the color. Maybe I'll be beautiful. Some of them will change their nose. Baba, I'm going to change the color. Nyaka nyaka. Nyaka nyaka. Nyaka nyaka. Nyaka nyaka. Nyaka nyaka. But if you are a Christian, you begin to take scriptures as they are and make them useful. You understand that you are not a mistake. You will understand that the way you are, it has been tailor-made for you to prove something. That's why you are born in that family. That's why you have been given that name. That is why we now feel the joy. So that you, people will identify and say that there is this one who is different with those ones. But you are sitting down complaining. Questioning why. Why, why, why I did that? But if you don't forget that day, I will tell you. I was with my wife. I was with my wife. Forget. She, we just wake up in the morning. I don't know what I was saying. I found she was already awake. She, she said, said, I didn't know that I marry you and you are so ugly like this. I didn't know that I marry you and you are so ugly like this. 
You, you found it very late. Because there are some things that you will never change them. You found it late. It's not true. You are resembling your mama, isn't it? You found it late. And you want to change it. I say, mama. Mama. You are too late. We already have children. And when you divorce, you are sinning against God. Mama said, yeah. You will never know things will be like this. Ah, you know, you've got big mouth like that. Say, yeah. that that's why I talk too much. That's why I keep on like I don't know if you are hearing me. I can say, you are worrying about things that will never change. Tell me, you are worrying about things that will never change. If your prayers can bring forth the results, why don't you wait upon him? Why don't you wait upon him? Why don't you wait upon him? You know that one of the reasons, I will tell you two things. Number one, when you worry, it means you have got pride. I'm telling you now. When you worry, it means you, you are failing to accept yourself. Therefore, you have got what? Pride. Number two, when you worry, you are saying God has failed you. Do you know why the Bible says the Israelites were destroyed in the desert? Though he used his mighty hand, they could not consider what he did. It was like they are saying, God, you have failed us. Remember, there was a time when they said, it's better we find a leader and we go back. They wanted to go and die in Egypt. Whereas the plan of God was to take them to Canaan. But they have to go through the desert. And they are not supposed to complain. Listen, you are in the desert right now. But God is taking you somewhere. I say you are in the desert. In the desert, even if you plant a seed, that seed will die there. There is no rain in the desert. You depend unto God. For you to be sustained, to reach where you are going, it takes only God to take you where you are going. As he has promised, he will see you there. I don't know if you are hearing me. Tell him, say, hey, my God, my God has promised, he will see me there. I don't mind about what I'm facing. My God has promised me and he is the fulfiller of the promises. So he will do it. He will accomplish it even if there is no rain. Check somebody and say, I'm in the desert and I'm going there. I'm in the desert. The more I take a step, I'm going closer to my destiny. One of our challenge today is to look at ourselves and look at others. For the today, just accept yourself. When your relish is vegetables, accept it. Tell your when your relish is ah, vegetables, accept it. When you are delayed, ah, accept it. When you are not receiving what you ah, want, accept it. Because by the time when God, God wanted to come, it will be a testimony. God is storing that so that it becomes a testimony. If it appears early, it will find others having it. God will allow others to die off. And the resurrection Wait upon the Lord. He will never disappoint you. He's about to bless you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Let me 
me give, take you to another scripture. Now to make noise, I'm set to make noise now. Matthew 6. Matthew 6. If you read Matthew 6, I will ask you from 25. From 25. I read this, I said, God, are we aware of you? Jesus, this is the teaching of Jesus. I want to read this with you and so that you, you say, for therefore, therefore, I say unto you, be not exist for your life. You know, only that verse. Listen to me, uh, that verse is a story. He says, therefore, I say unto you, be not exeus for your life. What you shall eat, what you shall drink, no ye, yet for your body. What you shall put on, is not the life more than the food. You know the, the word, do not be exeus for your life. In other words, stop worrying about your life. Because you have been given life. And life is bigger than food. Clothes. That's what God is speaking. God said, if I have given you life, what about food that enters your mouth? Close for your body. Do you know that even people who have got money cannot buy a body? Yet God was speaking here through Jesus. Jesus. Stop worrying. Me, who gave you life? I'll make sure that I supply to you. Right, let's read this verse again. You say what? Therefore, I say unto you, 26, 25, be not exist for your life, what you shall eat, what you shall yet for your body, what you shall put on. This is a very nice mess. Today, we are wearing labels. Marriages are no longer marriages today. Close. Marriages. When food started to go like this. When 12,5. Ah, 12,5. Behind the door is like this. You. When you enter home, you hear your wife singing, Hallelujah! I sat the chota kwa ma au shipa. Ara muti mo aretu. When it's going to three quarter. Aye, but three quarter. No more songs. The koshacha la di saliyo. When you knock, how kokota? No one answer. Awo ya fetula. But the person is hearing. Mara muto likuile. 12,5 is talking. Rosary is talking. Rosary When you knock there, how kokota? Is rosary that speaks? If it's rosary you not talk. If it's full, there's a lot of tribulation. The moment you enter, you just find your wife waking up. You begin to say, when you asleep. You hear the answer and say, mm. The fans are here. Mm. Are you not well? No. You know, if you change and say, someone give me money. Praise God. This is the world now that we are living in. And the second question is, is how much? 1,000. 1,000. No, I was praying when I, I was sleeping. When I was sleeping here, I was praying about God has answered our prayer. Here Jesus said, do not oh, be for those things. Here Jesus said, do not be for those things. Right, look at this other verse now. 26, he says, behold the birds 
of the heaven day. So not neither do they reap nor gather to pass. And your heaven father feedeth them, my and God. And not ye of much more value than they here, Jesus was saying. Why you don't learn from the birds? This one was very powerful, this one. Jesus was saying, you, you are more than them. You are not some... Look at the birds, they don't work. They don't, they don't, they just, you plow, they come and take. Jesus was saying, you are more than that. People must come and give you. Boom. I don't know if you're hearing me. Here you are supposed to be supplied. To you know, I remember when Elisha was fed by ravens. Elisha. Elijah was fed by ravens. And sometimes God would direct him to go, go there. We are failing today because of worries. When things go down, we complain. When depths are there, we start to ask God, but where are you? But, but we are the ones who are the ones who are the God, where are you? Where are you? But we are the ones who created them. God was, was still there. You never consult God. But when Deb started to behave, I don't want to be ashamed. My enemies will laugh at you. Why are you focusing on enemies? Be in relationship with Jesus. Leave your enemies. Enjoy your lifestyle. Enjoy your lifestyle. I mean, your prayers now are focusing on the people. You want God to provide so that people will be silenced? No. These people are there to take the Lord's place. Where are they? 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 Don't try to shame them. Don't try to answer them. Look here. If God did that to birds, what about you? You are more than birds. You are more than this birds that are flying. I don't know if you're hearing me. That's why I'm more than a bird. Look here. The Bible ends up saying, if it's so long. Even Solomon, when he was rich, Solomon, God provides to a bed, and a bed could be so better than him. I want to tell you that if it's God providing for you, you'll be better than people who are praised. Stop worrying and allow so God to provide. Any delay is fine for you. You, you praise, praise your God. God. You, you carry on. You hold your Christian life. life. You move forward. You, you don't mind what is happening. Enjoy your life in the Lord. When Satan tried to put in a corner, enjoy yourself and say, if God can feed the ravens, the birds, I'm a child of God. He can do everything for you. I don't know if you're hearing me. Stop worrying. So today we are living a life of competition. Your friend Becca. Uh, and what are you going to do? Uh, what are you going to do? If a friend Becker, Becker, you want to be like your friend. And if now your friend is succeeding and you are not, you are God, why, why me? Why me? And whereas God is preserving you to release you by a certain time, there's a time that God has set for his sons and his daughters. Stop worrying and wait for that time. That time when it comes, everything will be beautiful. Stop worrying about what people are saying. Yeah, look at yourself. You are not successful. You are what you are. Things are tough for you. Look at yourself. If you are a pastor, your church is not growing. Look at yourself. You are praying, whatever. And now you go. The more you put your head, 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 the more you put so, 
What do you think it will happen? I don't know. So if you don't do something, I don't know So if you don't do something, how is that? He says, "Sing." Come on, go. So you must do something. So you do the sing. What must I go to do? So you don't get to do your job. Get to do better than your job. Ask them. Babu Chiche. Why are they getting all this? What about now? Udi Allah, you want to go back to the little chapa ona? You go and ask now. When I want to go to Chiche, I tell you. Babu Talusi, Chiche. It's occultic. You join us. Things will rise. The day you go and join, it's a kill your Facebook. Facebook. You kill your wife. And you begin to say, the more worry comes. Whatever comes in a dubious way. Brings more shame to you. But if you wait and rejoice where you are. God who sees others through. He will take you through. Let, let me just read and finish these scriptures that I'm trying to read. I was just reading 26. 27 he says. And which of you by being exist can add one cubit unto the measure of his life. Jesus was not talking about the height. He was talking about the age. He was talking about the age. In other words, worry decreases your age. Tell me about worry. Decreases your age. Do you know that when you worry, worry, you start to have depression. Do you know that when you worry, worry, you start to have depression. Do you know that there are some people that they don't sleep? Huh? Because of the challenges they are going through. They sleep like this. Satan comes. Outside, you know that they are going through. Outside, you know that they are going through. They've got big cars, big houses, big whatever. Yeah, you are wearing them. When they, when they, they, when they put their hair like this, Satan comes. Hey. Satan you know Satan is very ugly. They are seeing Satan every day. Let's go to the sea. And you know Satan will never come like, I mean, like an angel. You just say, Satan. Hey. Let's go to the sea. And you have no choice. You just find it. During the day, you are walking like a king. And you people you are admiring this. But you don't have anything. You are sleeping. 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 So now you are desiring someone. So now you are desiring someone. Satan just come like this. Satan no nota. You change it like this for you. Aye la na. Wait. Wait na. You wake up and say. No, a papa re. And say, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you in Arusha Mai? And from there you say. No, shala kamara ukiti. And the whole night people know you are asleep. But the baro we na usiri buroko. We shubu kamoka. You are failing to sleep. You are eating the nose of a pork. 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 You are throwing money to them. 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 You are thro
I don't know if you are hearing me. I'm not saying poverty is the best way. But I'm telling you that there are things that we don't need to admire today. Accept yourself. Stop worrying. Enjoy yourself. I don't know if you are hearing me. Let me give you a scripture. Let's jump here. We go to the scripture. Philippians 4. Philippians 4. Philippians 4. Verse 4 is important for us. That's what we can do also. By Philippi 4 4. Maybe if we start, I'll show you this, this verse from verse 4. I'll show you in practical. What this verse is telling us. It says, Rejoice in the Lord. Always, again, I will say what? Rejoice. It says, verse 5, let your forbearance be known unto all men. In other words, you are going to be challenged so that you worry. So therefore, vengeance belongs to God. You just Because how we live, the Bible says, the Lord's hand, the Lord is at hand. In other words, the Lord is about to judge. So you leave it to God. Verse 6. Is verse 6 here. In nothing be exeus. But in everything by prayer. And supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known that unto God. That verse is saying, a Christian, they don't complain or worry, they pray. In everything, that what is Christians. Number one, if they want to succeed, they must be happy always. In the Lord. Be happy in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Two, everything by prayer. There's no time to complain or tell you you have no friend. In fact, if you're a Christian, you're not, you don't have a friend. You're a brother or a sister to the Lord. You don't explain your problem to your friend. Your friend is Jesus. You are able to pray. I'm sure you understand that. So here it says, you, with thanksgiving and supplication, you put everything by prayer. The words that you were supposed to be telling someone, I've got this problem, whatever, whatever. you were supposed to be spending time praying. I don't know if you're hearing that. I get seven and Verse seven says, "And the peace of God." Verse seven, "Ya rekucho ya mudim, which passes all understanding." Ewe di fiti shang di talo anyo chapa tuka moka. Shall guard your hearts. Itlo shata pilu chalena. And your mouth. Lime chopolo ya lena. In Christ Jesus. A Christ Jesus. You heard that? Le ikuile. I want to show you what this scripture. Kenya kole wanchor le mwalu le le raoreng. Let me show you this scripture. Can I get three people? Ngatola bato barar. I want to show you another one stand here. Another one stand here. And another one here. Can you see that? Can you see this one here? Yeah. Can you face that? No, face that one. That one face. Look at this scripture. Let's read it again. And the peace of God. In other words, let's get someone here. Uh, no, no, let's see. Let's get someone here. Let's get someone here. Yeah, let's get someone here. Come. Yeah, you face that side. Okay? This one is a Christian. Can you see that? Okay, Mot. This one is a Christian. This is the mind of okay. this Christian. And this is the heart. Of this Christian. And this one is peace. Can you see that? Amen. So let's read this verse you understand. Verse and verse. the peace of God is this. Can you see the peace of God here? It says, the peace of God which passes all these surroundings situations, challenges understanding Shall guard. Shall guard. In other words, this peace will make sure that the mind is occupied with peace. The mind of that Christian. Verse 8. 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 Verse 
the heart of this Christian <inaudible> will be occupied with what? With peace. And the peace is here. But there are many misunderstandings. So th this peace of God will guard the mind and the heart of this Christian so that the peace will always be inside. Therefore, the peace, when it's facing there, is defending there are things that want to enter that mind. There are things that want to enter that heart. But it must pass here. I don't know if you hearing me. So always, this peace will know that something is coming. And drop it down. Look at that verse. Look at verse 8 now. That Christian at the back, because of the peace, the peace in the mind and the heart, it says, finally, brethren, whatsoever, whatsoever things are true, in other words, untrue things will come here. You see that? Amen. And it will be challenged and fall down. And the peace Right. Number, okay, let me read that verse 8. eight. Whatsoever things are honorable, things which are worthy, and worthy things will come here. And the peace of God will kick them away. I don't know if you're hearing me. So this is the angel of peace that guides the mind and the heart of this Christian. All right. All right. It was ever things of good or lovely. Yeah, let's say lovely. Pew. Good. Good. Good report. If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on those things. Look here. This Christian, if the mind is occupied by the angel, that that brought peace. The heart the same. To to this Christian. This Christian will be able to meditate. The things which are good. The things which are worthy. The things which are honorable. Of good report. Because the angel there of the peace. Is the one who crush everything. I don't know if you hear me. Let's take, come here, come sister, come running here. So untrue things are running there. Go there. So this one will defend. Come here, come here, untrue or, or you false. You are false. Eh? Right. Right. Yeah. Your name is what? False. Yeah. So now, when you are false, false is going there. False. false. No. Will be defended. You, you block that person, come back. You, you block the person. Run, run the force. Uh -huh. Pull the force back. So the peace of God always will fight whatever that comes. It always will fight whatever that comes. It always will fight whatever that comes. It always will fight whatever that comes. Whatever that is true, whatever that is not false, whatever that is faithful, honest, whatever that is honorable, of good report, that Christian will never fail. Can you run that? Now you are hunger, run hunger. Block, block when I... This piece, this one is challenged. Go back. Go back. Now, okay, you are disappointed. Run disappointed. You are blocked. Go back. So even when the Christian seeing disappointing run, that 
that disappointing issues will be sustained by the peace. It will touch the mind. It will touch the heart. 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 If it touches here, depression, you want to kill yourself, you can't sleep, disorganizing things. I'm sure you understand that. Now, let's call you jobless run. Blocked. Jobless, you are blocked. Come here. That man, just wave your hand like you are praising. Carry on praising you. Let me give you a mic. Give him a mic. Give, give. Listen to this Christian praising. You just say he's good. You are good. Oh God. Say you are good. Oh God. Thank you, Lord. You are good. Oh God. Thank you. Lord. Good. Oh God. Thank you Lord. You are good. Oh God. Thank you. Lord. Bless, bless you. Holy bless name. Lord. I worship you, Father. Lord, thank, you for thank you, Jesus. Lord, I bless your holy name. Rejection, you are holy, Lord. Father. Lord, Lord. 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 Keep watching Charis TV.